Hi, welcome to LibreOffice tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to track changes in LibreOffice Writer. So basically, we uh, we are working on some kind of document. Let's say uh, we are being built, and now what we want to do is we want to track changes, which means that uh, whenever you are making some kind of correction, some kind of addition or modification, you want to change. Uh, you want to track those changes so that the new user or the other user who will be editing this document will know. Okay, th these are the modifications done by this uh, this user. So, how do we really do that? So, first of all, you have to go to Edit, and then you have to go to Changes, and then you have to click on Record. So, what happens is after doing this uh, let's say you will add uh, you will add being skilled is a platform for building skills now we can see that everything is in yellow which means that this is the addition which was done by an unknown user uh, a non author because i uh, because we didn't uh, uh, register this library office that's why it's showing a known other or else if you will register it it will show you uh, the registered name so we can see that um, this is in yellow color and now uh, let's add something hello this this is so nice and now if you will delete this then let's see what happens nothing will happen but if there was some original text in the document and if you will remove it then what will happen is there will be a strike through uh, thing around uh, across the text which is deleted so which tells you that okay um, the the text which is without strike through is the addition while the text with the st uh, strike through is deletion so this is how we track the changes in library office writer now let's say if you want to accept the change then you can click on accept the change by pressing the right cl uh, click uh, of your mouse or right button of your mouse um, so all over this text so just press that and then click on accept change so as we deleted it so library office automatically deleted the text and if you will click on this then accept change then it will come in its normal uh, color which is black and let's accept this as well so this is it so what do you really mean by accept changes so let's say um, being skilled is really working hard and now we will just remove the, this line so what happens is uh, there are two ways to get the accepted data first is to just control um, just copy the content and press uh, control C and just create a new file and press control V now we can see there are only two lines which are uh, which is to say that we have line number one and line number three and line number two is gone because we deleted it so when we pasted it in the new file uh, only the uh, content which was supposed to be there is present and the second line since we deleted it it is not there in the new line in the new line um, if you will just uh, click uh, on backspace key then then this particular section is supposed to be uh, in two different lines not in three lines so yes you can see that now it is in two lines so there are other ways to um, accept or reject the changes this is one of the ways so just click on it and you can see all the list of all the additions or deletions so you can accept them one by one and whenever you will click on it it will highlight the portion which is which was deleted or inserted so it will be it will become very handy so let's say if it is in insertion and if you want to accept the change and click on it so the, the change has been accepted now deletion uh, you want to accept it or reject it if you want to reject it then click on it and it will be retained 
insertion there is a space uh, white space just click on accept and, and it will be retained so this is how we accept or reject the changes in library office writer and then there are next change previous change and it is same as same as that of uh, what we did earlier now let's say if you want to talk about like next change then it or previous change rather so it will highlight okay these were the changes which happened then this change will uh, happened also you can leave a comment so so that the user will know okay this was the intention of modifying the the content um, and when we are working on some text document or any document for, for that matter um, and there are multiple authors involved it is very important to communicate to different uh, authors that okay this was my intention or this was the intention behind my activity on this particular document so that everyone will know uh, or will be in loop okay these were the we, these were the uh, main goals of this document and this is how we did it so that when there will be a new new author he or she will uh, first of all get a feeling of okay these were the intentions of the goal and the how can I make the modifications which will ensure that the goal or the central idea is maintained, is follow, followed. So I, I hope you have learned about how to track changes in LibreOffice Writer. Thank you for watching the video.